<laughs> That's a good song, isn't it? Well, anyways, guys, welcome to this video. I'm here chilling out, gonna do a little intro. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, here we are guys. We're getting right into the nitty-gritty details. What are we using for bait? That's what everyone wants to know. We're using some cut mullet. I just freshly caught it in the cast net, so it's gonna be epic, guys. We're gonna slay some reds on mullet, guys. And here's how we cut them up. We like about eight to 10 inch mullet. The big ones, the bigger the better, honestly, if you're gonna cut them up. They stay on the hook a lot better with that thicker skin. Yes. And don't be afraid to get that mullet head and chunker out there, man. Never underestimate the mullet head. But here we go. I get a side piece and here's how we thread it on the hook. And this was working really well this day. We had already caught a few fish at this point. So I could tell that this the bait was staying on here really good the way that I was hooking it. Got another? All right. All right. <laughs> that didn't take long. Oh, they got tangled. Hold on, hold on. Hold this, hold this. Dude, right when I threw it, dude. Right when I set it down back in the hole, it f***ing Nice. Show me how you reel. <laughs> You're just doing it, come on. Look, we still got our bait. Hey, Young, we got another one for you. <laughs> Ready to play some more? Damn it, boy. <laughs> There's another one going off. Still on? Nice. Put some pressure on it. Alright. So if you guys can't tell, Adam just caught a Bruce Stingstein and he's getting it off the hook. Rather, he's cutting the line because safety first guys, it's just a hook. It's not an expensive lure. So just Cut that line, call it a day, man. And you know, I can't let those guys have all the fun, man. I gotta get one on the board. Gotta get nice. something. I don't care whether it's trash fish or what, just gotta catch something. And the cool thing about this catch actually is I'm using a bad, a cool reel. And this is actually Young's reel. It's a Shimano Twin Power. So strong, so powerful. You can really put the screws to the fish and just reel them in so quick if you want to, or just play them out for fun. He's, he's out. <laughs> put the screws to him. Yeah, it's not that strong. It's like 30 pound, I think. It's a Jack Cravel too. Yeah. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> Dude. This red's giving me some trouble, man. It's sitting right there. This red goes right next to a rock and the line gets actually wrapped around a barnacle. This is a load of barnacles. You wanna hold the rod, I'll just go down there. Yeah. 
All right, first one I've got today, guys, that was just on a cut mullet. Seems to be was working dead. But he's a bit oversized, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get the hook out real quick and throw him back. And so I get the bright idea. I'm gonna release this fish on the other side of the jetty. Get a cool, slow-mo release. Nothing but the finest. Hate that. Yeah, he swam off. But... Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Yes, that just happened, guys. Jetty fishing is dangerous. You heard it here first. That fish swam off, but I didn't. There were so many people watching me right there, but wow. <coughs> Ouch! Ah. Am I bleeding from everywhere? <laughs> Your ball's popping off. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'm done hey, catching redfish. <laughs> got some jetty scars? No, I'm uh, flawless. No, I'm good. I'm a hundred. Sometimes. You just have to roll with the punches. My adrenaline was just pumping, I guess, because my foot was actually bleeding so bad and I still kept fishing. Um, yeah, you gotta absorb the contact. Another strong one. Oh, he came off. To the left or the right? For what? Oh, to land them? Wait, you want to land them on the right? Yeah. Alright. What the heck? Oh my god. <laughs> twin power. Yeah, that's twin power right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Jeez. Oh, Dude, that was an absolute giant. Um, let's roll right into the next clip though, because this next one was pretty interesting. Um, some things happen during this fight as I'm reeling the fish in, and uh, it's crazy. Hey, there's a headlamp in my bag. Adam, you wanna get that? No one hooked that one that jumped? No, man. This is a free jump. Dang, dude. Oh, I'm good, man. I think I got it. No. Sure you want to go down there? I'll go down there. Yeah. Another overslot, guys. What the heck? Trying to get some tarpon though. Oh, you just caught that? Want me to get it off the hook for you? And here we go, this is the most boring lure because I always use it. I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing it, but it's a three ounce spoon. And if you guys have a cool nickname for this spoon, let me know in the comments. But anyways, I'm gonna speed up the beginning of this retrieve so you can see just that I'm basically not having any action on it. I'm just doing a straight retrieve and that's what this type of fish usually likes. Oh! 
Oh, fish! Dang. Crazy. Yeah, can I get a picture? Yeah, do that. And that was a king fish for you guys wondering. This type of fish makes a crazy first run and peels just a lot of drag. So it's actually just so fun to catch. And it's too bad I didn't do better commentary because I was kind of a little bit uh, pissed off because I lost a lot of lures that morning. But this actually made it all worth it. But here we go, now we have Yong up. And you know he can't be outdone ever, dude. He catches a good one right here. And he's just, you know, just take notes when you watch him. He's so good. I think you got a king. Nice. You want these? Dang, that's another nice one. Now it's time that I'm gonna name drop Thresher Fishing and Texas Redfish Hunter, and not just name drop them, I'm just saying that coming up, we're gonna be doing a little collabo, so stay tuned for that. Uh, it's gonna be pretty awesome. It's gonna be super sick. I'm looking forward to it. Hope you guys are looking forward to it. Hit the thumbs up. You know what to do. See you next time. But you know, I could not let have king fish. Uh, what would you call a king fish? A king of the castle fish? And uh, just caught a Bruce Stingstein and he's just